Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Gridiron Team Cap, sponsored by the attorneys at Keller and Holland and the Jason Coronio's team at Country Financial. I'm Dan Irons out here at Conan High School, where the Cougars were hosting the Saxons tonight. Saxons came in needing a fifth victory to be playoff eligible. They do that, convincing fashion, 42 to 7. A main reason why this guy right here, Vince Haydaker, five touchdowns rushing, 172 yards on the ground. Uh, Vince, just talk about uh, one being playoff eligible and also uh, the work of the offensive line all night for you. Yeah, first and foremost, uh, all glory to God, but it starts from practice. We had a great practice for our offensive line. They knew it from this game. They had to work their butts on it. We got it done. We sure did that. Hey, there's a ton of highlights on this guy. Let's get to it. Conant hosting Schaumburg Friday night. Cougars looking for its first win in the 2024 campaign. Saxon's looking for its fifth win on the season to become playoff eligible. Visitors strike quickly. First play from scrimmage for the Saxons. Ray Black airs it out a bomb to waiting arms of Javante McCoy. Good for 76 yards and sets up Schaumburg with first and goal. Vince Haydaker takes care of the rest. Bowls in from three yards out and the Saxons led 7-0 90 seconds into the quarter. Conan attempted to counter, but a fumble on its drive set up the Saxons in great field position, and it didn't take long for Haydaker to get rolling again, this time from 40 yards out with 7.19 left in the opening stanza, 14-0 Saxons. Things were looking to get ugly for the Cougars as Schaumburg was on the march yet again a few moments later, but Matthew Gomez saves the day for Conan. Pick six and the home team deficit cut in half at 14-7, and that was the score at the end of one. To the second we go. Saxons, fourth and two at the Conan seven now, and the Cougars' D comes up huge again, forces the turnover. Conan offense could not do anything with it, but that guy for the Saxons, Haydecker, the trifecta, 16-yard TD run with five and a half to intermission, 21-7 visitors, and that was the score at the break. And after the break, it was more of the same, just a healthy dose of Haydecker, not just his fourth TD of the evening midway through the third, capped off his amazing night with one more score just before the fourth quarter to make it 35-7. Saxons tack on another and win big, 42-7, and are now playoff eligible with the W. Well, hey, that's it from Conan High School. For Grid Irons, I'm Dan Irons. Street. 